All right, Patrick. All right, time for the 99, number nine, to all of you out there logging on to your mom's group on Facebook. Now, we don't want you to be alarmed, but this came from a mom. We'll, we'll name her D, and we'll keep oh. her mom group private. All right. Uh, D says, uh, someone just knocked on my window and left me two McRib sandwiches. What? There's a note inside that says I was McRibbed <laughs> and that I need to do this to three more people and to keep it going. Did anyone else have this happen to them? Oh. Wow. Well, if you do have to keep it going, just take those same two McRibs and put them on yeah. your neighbor's doorstep <laughs> instead of yeah. schlepping all the way out to McDonald's yourself. Yeah, but if you don't keep it going, likely death by the end yeah. of the year, yeah. I would suppose. <laughs> all right, number eight. Long before the over-the-top plastic mansions and fancy pink cars, Barbie lived a simple yet glamorous life. Mm. In honor of Barbie's 75th birthday, Mattel is offering a replica of Barbie's original 1962 dream house. It's identical to the very first one, including the mid-century decor and accessories. Her rotary telephone. Mm. Try explaining that one to the kids. A phone with a dial that came with a cord. They won't believe it. The house comes in a neat carrying case, the same way the first one did. Oh, the doll is also included, plus some of her vintage outfits, like her busy morning sundress and her wide brim hat. Mm. Isn't that Love lovely? Love a wide brim hat. Mm -hmm. Number seven, scent and memory are deeply connected, and with people going to far fewer places these days, we encounter fewer smells, like the perfume you'd smell on the train in your commute, or the smell of a freshly painted school hallway greeting sure. kids in the fall. Take a cue from one of their restaurant critics, the New York Times decided to put together a feature called Museum of Smells. They asked readers to submit their own, those smells that are so singular and specific that you wish you had one word to describe it. They got some great ones like the smell of newly poured concrete from the woman whose father owned a construction company. Sure. Furs, sherry, and cigarettes takes one reader back to her grandmother's apartment. Another submitted, my dog's paw pads smell like Fritos. And mm. another, dub <laughs> soap takes me back to my high school years. What scents would you put in your own personal smell museum? I remember the mimeograph sheets they used to get in elementary school. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, almost get that was a good little high. Those. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. All right. Yeah. Paul, did you go with the Obsession in high school, or was it the uh, Ralph Lauren that polo? That is a Ralph Lauren. Uh, yeah. What about your car? That no, was no, you. That, that was my, oh, yeah. yeah. Slice yeah. some of that on, here. then throw on my champion sweatshirt. <laughs> Ooh, with yeah. a gold chain on the outside and yeah. some Z-cap yeah. Watch out. Ooh, Hello, stop. ladies. Yes. <laughs> Slow it down. <laughs> All right. Uh, time for number six. Let's take a look inside a piece of presidential history. JFK's former Georgetown house recently sold for $4.2 million. It was built in the 1800s. It's got three bedrooms and four bathrooms. It's on, undergone several upgrades. But the best part of it is the rooftop terrace with a view of the Washington Monument. Kennedy lived there with his sister Eunice in the late 40s and early 50s. He was serving in Congress at the time. His newfound social status eventually led him to Jacqueline Bouvier. The woman who eventually would become his wife and first lady. Not enough people being named Eunice anymore. Yeah, I was going to no. say the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Not a lot of those that's in the preschools. A, yeah, <laughs> that's a cute one right there. That's uh, a shame. Eunice. And bring it back. Yeah. Mm -mm. Along Fancy. with Gladys and Myrtle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're right. Agnes. Yeah. 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 That's another one. Mm. Waiting for Harriet to come back. Yeah, yeah too. <laughs> Uh, number five, from time to time, we're going to take a, uh, a real letter to an advice column and see oh, yeah. if we can help. Uh, as we often do, take one from Dear Prudence. Here's one from her on Slate. All right. My older coworker has a puppy crush on me, hmm. and all the older ladies in the office encourage this. The desire on my part is nil. I don't want to hurt my coworker. Uh, he's generally a good guy. But the older ladies in the office are all invested in us like we're in a Hallmark <laughs> movie. It's creepy. I've turned him down twice, and they tell him third time is the charm and try to cheer him on and wear me down. Wow. What do I do? 
Well, I think this is where Larry says you just come out and tell us, tell him, leave me alone, right? She's I mean, being you, way you, too you, nice. Yeah. Men yeah. are not good at subtle. Just tell me what you <laughs> want me to right. do. Yeah. <laughs> Say, hey, creepy loser, yeah. leave me alone. You're 100 years old. Yeah. Oh, something along those just lines. Just be straightforward, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, number four. This holiday season, how about a nice frothy cup of moose milk? Woo. It's a favorite drink of our friends in Canada. It's actually created by the Royal Canadian Air Force. Wow, look Wait, at it's it. not just actual moose milk? Let me keep reading. Yeah, keep reading. Though the Royal Canadian Army and Navy claim they came up with the drink. Yeah. But hey, if it's good enough for all those folks, good enough for us. Here is the recipe. Okay, it's a recipe. It's adapted from the Cape Breton News recipe. All right. One cup cold coffee. Gotcha. Eight ounces, one cup of half and half. Right. One and a half cups of good vanilla ice cream. All right, yeah. A quarter cup or two fluid ounces of rum, yep. whiskey, and or vodka. All of those? Oh, each sure. or all? I don't know. Them. It's yeah. all, throw them all in. Why not? Um, and then two tablespoons, one fluid ounce of Kahlua, all right, nutmeg, or dark chocolate shaving. Wait, these, th you know what? Hold on. Uh, it, these we'll are put all... it on the web. <laughs> uh, anyway, to garnish, as the legend goes, if a friend, uh, oh wait, is the uh, shavings. Yeah, yeah. Right, if shavings. a friend is drinking this and they're yep. not smiling, try again and add more booze. There you That's go. what they say. Yeah. It does look frothy and delicious. Yeah. It does look frothy and delicious. Yeah. But you're throwing away your calories for the whole week, right, Larry? No, Rick, really our are. show, you mm. hosers. Like I tell you. I tell my mother, a white Russian is not a drink, it's a dessert, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but delicious. She's hoping it's a gentleman caller. <laughs> She'll take either one. Delicious. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, time for number three. Check out the uh, grump trees at Aldi. They might be the cutest little grumpy trees you'll ever see. The best part, they're only like $9.99. Trader Joe's has its own popular version, but these trees come in colors like pink with fun name tags and ornaments on them. And that's what we all need right now is just a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. Look how much fun that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trees. Mm. Are these regular trees in a bag? I think so. Mm -hmm. It's all about packaging. Ah. And <laughs> it's just a tree. Yeah. There we go. All right, number two, when your kids tell you they're bored, show them this video. It's a game from the 70s called Battling Tops. Then tell your kids, could be worse, you could be forced to play <laughs> Battling Tops. Our ideal Battling Tops championship. The contestants are winding their tops, getting into position, oh. and... The oh, pipes. yeah, I remember this. Look at those tops bow for position. That actually looks Watch fun. That's not, yeah, that looks pretty fun. But it's up again. Anything yeah, can happen for 30 seconds. Top. Yeah. The Mankey's tops are not clamped out of the arena. Watson's the winner. Mm. Champ, what's your secret? It's in the wrist action. Battling tops. From this ideas, is way better than video game. games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ideas yeah. The only thing better than this are blocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blocks <laughs> in the Conrad <laughs> house, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> share. Everyone shares. We need to have multiple blocks. Uh, <laughs> all right, number one, is, as most people know, today is Monkey Day. Day, oh, yeah. The celebration of that mischievous creature that is oh so close to being human. To celebrate, we simply did a search of the word monkey in the old file video vault. <laughs> ah, and here's a montage no. of what we got. All right. من شغله زي مثلا اللي ممكن تكون الحيوانات المدربه للافلام Puppy monkey baby. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I am trying to save a marriage. I'm trying to save a family. Baby on the box. I think it never seen food in its life. Oh! <laughs> 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 The 
precursor to Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh yeah, this is that David Lynch production. We showed this a while back. Wow. I gotta put this in my calendar every year, December 14th, and re <laughs> yeah. just re rack that video. Yeah, we should run that every stuff. 15 minutes. Right? Yeah. That was well, great. If you haven't seen that SNL bit with Tim Kazarinski, our friend. Yeah, what uh, was he, married to a monkey? Married to a, a chimp or something. It's yeah. very funny. It's uh, Check that out on the internet. Huh. Right. Hello, Paul. Hello. Uh, we're gonna see uh, some sunshine.